In my book, I have talked about Bengal in South Asia. Bengal is a geographical unity, a geographical entity surrounded by mountains on the three sides and just on the north of, to the north of Bay of Bengal. So in my book, when I use Bengal, I mean both Bangladesh and West Bengal. Chores are <laughs> little river islands, little pieces of land floating or uh, inhabiting the space within the ba two banks of a river. So they are um, in a way they are land because they are with you know pieces of land made of sand and silt but at the same time they are known land because they are within the river. So Bengal was like an environmental laboratory you know big laboratory where they were trialing all these high modernist ideas of controlling nature, controlling rivers, water engineering, river engineering. Water planners looked at the rivers and thought that these, what, these rivers are bringing down water. But actually these rivers are bringing as much sediment as they are bringing down water. And they started to build these embankments which led to post-colonial dams and, and, and led to the formation of these chores. A chore can disappear overnight. When the flood water rises, people are ready with their little boats, you know, and, and, and their entire households in their boats, their lives, assets. The people who live in, you know, on chores are absolutely poor, you know, wretched of the earth. They live for the day, ready to leave their homes anytime. Chores will come, appear, and you want to stabilize it, it will go away on its own next, uh, you know, tomorrow. They don't believe in controlling nature. And that's the essence of my book, dancing with the river. They dance with the river. As the river rises and falls, they step up and step down. And they dance with the river, matching with the river's tune. The chores and chore people are examples that people can live with nature. Even when the nature is not necessarily a benign nature, it's making people vulnerable, making people very poor. But it also makes people very resilient to these changes, sudden changes. Well, my study is located on 11 chores, so it's a very microscopic study. Microscopic study looking into how even how people spend their monies. So what we did is we kept financial diaries, people looking at how people spend their monies uh, over a period of, you know, different seasons, over a period of one year in different seasons because there are, you know, peak seasons and lean seasons and surprisingly the lean season is the monsoon season when rest of Bengal, for rest of Bengal that's the peak season and for chore people the peak season is during winter when rest of Bengal is, you know, not farming and for them it's the lean season. In the chores there are two communities. One is one community was more Bihari community who were fishermen and and they gradually their livelihoods became defunct and irrelevant as the water in the river went down decreased, the river flow decreased due to dam constru construction. So they lived and in their place uh, Hindu migrants from Bangladesh came and settled. So in my book there is a little bit of on that migration story and the partition of India and how Bangladeshi Hindus are migrating and coming into the chores. It was a lot of fun doing the research actually. It's a new way of looking at the world, new way of thinking about environment.